Welcome in and welcome back. You already know what time it is. I'm back with another video. So I got another compilation that we're gonna get into today. So sit back, I'm gonna share my perspective. Let's go and get into it. You're very pretty. Stop it. Get some help. Caught in 4K. Caught what in 4K? He gave you a compliment and kept it moving. He didn't even slow up on his stride. I mean, is this what we're really doing? Is this what we are really doing? You know, it used to be a time when, you know, when you gave somebody a compliment, you gave a woman a compliment. She just take it. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the compliment. <laughs> Appreciate it. And you keep it moving. But not today. Mm -mm. She thought she was going to put this on the internet. They was going to get his ass. But that ain't even really how it ended up turning out. And they didn't hold back. First comment says, you caught him lying. We know who didn't grow up getting compliments. How is he weird? He ain't stopped. Didn't say anything rude. And you're filming yourself. So he added a sprinkle of validation. <sighs> if she don't like you automatically, it's harassment. Yeah, it's a thin line between the guy who gives a great compliment that makes a woman blush and the man who's being perceived as some sort of creep as if he's lurking behind the bush somewhere trying to stalk you. Thin line. And one more comment says, caught what in 4K? A nice guy compliment you. You are a cold hearted person for making this a joke. Listen, I don't even think she really a cold hearted person. I just think we've gotten to a day and time right now with social media where women like her are far more concerned about getting attention any way, shape, form possible that they can. And if that means it's by way of embarrassing someone else, a stranger that they don't know, in order to get engagement on their social media page, then sure, for them, it's worth all the likes. A good woman will not outspend your income. I, I disagree. Uh, well, I don't we think, can I, disagree. I think a good woman wouldn't purposefully want to do that. That's what I'm saying. But I... I You're saying some could be dumb? I would say naive. <laughs> okay, so I'll clarify. A good woman would not intentionally yeah. outspend your income. A bad woman would. What? That's, There's I, such okay. a thing, you know. Listen, I don't think I'm really saying anything that'll be, uh, you know, perceived as a uh, groundbreaking news, we'll just say, by me saying... Women like to spend money. This is why when you look at marketing and advertisements, a majority of them are geared towards women. When you look at commercials, TV, social media, most of the marketing is geared towards women. You walk into any mall, a majority of the stores are catering to who? Women. It's a reason for that. They like to buy stuff and they like to buy a lot of stuff often. And the thing is, women love spending the man's money way more than they like spending their own. And if you are with this kind of woman and she's spending money like that because she just got to have that new pair of shoes or she got to have a new purse and she didn't mean to run up the credit card bill, then you definitely got a problem and you better fix it fast or you're going to end up broke more than likely alone. I've never had a wealthy, fine man ask me to bring to the table. I've never had that. Never. Never. And they brought the cutlery and they brought the meal and they brought the wine and I showed up and I looked pretty and I was funny. You must be out your damn mind. Because they already saw my value before I even opened my mouth. Right. With all due respect, they saw your value. You are absolutely correct. You didn't have to say anything. Because your value to them, ma'am, was fun. That's it. I hope you understand that the fact that none of these men married you. Because you said they. You came across all these fine, wealthy men that saw your value as just fun. That should tell you something, sweetie. I mean, how does anyone know anybody's value before they even speak? Would they just look at you and say, yeah. She's worth it. Based on this aesthetic, just looking you up and down. They say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a spend on her. Racks on racks on racks. What some women tend to let escape them or forget is that some men just want to use women for fun. And they realize money is like cheese to a rat when it comes to women. And if you put enough of it out, 
they gonna come running. I went to a club, okay, and I met this body. I got her IG and I messaged her on IG. She replied we were talking and then she said she had trouble with her bills, right? Something is wrong here. You know, I offered to help with her you bills. offered and to help a random girl with her bills. She had a fat It's my weakness. Oh. I didn't give the money yet though. The arrangement was I get something in return and I help her out, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. So you what signed up to be a sugar daddy? Yeah, kind of. How old are you, bro? 30. You don't get no so you're now paying for 50. This man is down bad. He 30 years old, went to the club, met an IG model. First thing she texts when they start talking is, I need some help with my bills. Sir, I'm sure she sent that message to you and about 20 other men who she exchanged information with that night. If you have seen this girl, you probably would have. Ain't no girl gonna make me give her money for me to her. How much money you gonna give her? A 900. Did you start that arrangement? Well, yeah, I was supposed to go there tonight, but I don't know if I'm gonna go though. How much is your rent, bro? It's like 1400. So you're gonna give a woman almost half your f***ing rent because she's bad. I always wanted to hit it, you know? I'm trying to get to see what that be like right there. Look, be that, 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 that. You're literally the definition of a simp. Because I think you're hot, I'm gonna pay you to f Any woman that gives men access to her body for money is what? She's a normal girl. <laughs> That's a damn lie. Sir, that is not a normal girl. Any woman who gives you access to her body for money is called something else. I'm a hoe, I'm a hoe, and I want the world to know. She's taking money from you to f You're gonna bring a son into this world, and you're gonna be proud to do some sh like this. Little man gonna grow up and think my dad was paying women $900 to f well, he wouldn't know because I wouldn't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how sick. <laughs> he, he's going to go through with it. He's doing this call, but believe he's going through with it. She hits him up and lets him know, come over. But first, you got to see. But you know she's going to say, send the money first. Then you could come over. He's sending that money. And then he's going to say, what's the address? No reply. Sad that is, bro. Okay, you're right. You're right. It is. It is. It is. Uh, then don't do it. it is. Don't do it. Listen, you can't ever become this desperate where you are a 30 year old man and you're about to go and spend $900 hoping to be able to bust some cheeks. Listen, this is a sad, sad situation and a sad, sad man. Your boy. Should I say our oh, boy? That ain't not shit. That's my motherfucking son. World star. I need my son. I need my son. Hey, hey, let's wrap this shit up. I need my son, man. 
Give me my motherfucking son. I don't give my son no more. I'm gonna sit out your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, alright. Let's go. Alright. Man, you gonna let him take him like this? Come on, Russell. Was you letting him take him? Hey, man, it's his son. It's his son. Man, I ain't trying to fight. First off, is this even real or not? That's the first thing I'm thinking. Is this actually even real? Or is it staged? You always got to kind of at least have that thought in your head question, especially with certain videos like this where you're like, nah, this ain't real. Like, this... <laughs> He let, he let that man get too close to him. I'ma just say that he handled that far better than what a lot of men would be able to, despite wrong, right, whatever. It's just certain things, a man get that much in your face and you able just to kind of stay calm and cool. That's a lot of patience he has right there. That That's not even the main point. What, what are we doing? Everybody in this situation need to look at themselves for different reasons, some more than others, but everybody intimately involved in this situation need to look at themselves first off the biological father obviously the most evident one of, of everybody in the situation point his anger at the wrong person why get mad at this man for only doing what he was able to get permission to do from the woman who you end up having that child with you getting mad at the man for going out to do something that he was allowed to go do from your baby mother that's the only reason he there. It's a 99% chance that's the only reason he there. He didn't just take that little boy over there out the blue to go get no haircut. 99% chance that the baby mom requested that he go take the son to go get a haircut. And you want to sit here, walk into someone's place of business, get in his face, in front of your son, get all out and irate, in this man's face, doing this in front of your son, mind you. Showing a lack of what it really means to be a, 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 a actual role model and maturity in front of your son because you all in your feelings and then on top of that don't even have the 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 wherewithal to point your frustration at least in the right direction which is your disgruntledness should be pointed at the baby mother that's the woman you had the baby with that you laid down with and created that baby with and now you got yourself in a situation where she got another man taking your kid to get a haircut but you mad at him and listen, this ain't even to say that the mother isn't out here trying to manipulate and use one man against another in order to keep the father feeling in his feelings. But that's beside the point. You gotta at least be smart enough to understand how that woman move, how she think and how she operate so you don't let things she do get you all in your feelings and acting like this in public, in front of your son with this sort of behavior. Because yeah, sometimes the baby mother will do things intentionally in order to get that man mad, in order to get him all frustrated and angry, knowing that that's the only reason she doing it. Because she would love to see him get angry and get a rise out of him. Because is this really okay to be doing in front of his son? Don't tell me anything else until you answer that question. Is it okay that he carry himself, he conduct himself in public, in someone else's place of business, while his son is getting a haircut right in front of him to carry himself that way? Is that the best way he could have handled this situation? Where that, where his son is seeing right here, a little boy who we don't know what type of long-term effect trauma this is gonna have on that little boy. Seeing his pops act out in this type of way with this type of behavior with another man who in some capacity, he knows pretty well because he with his mother. I mean, listen, number two, this is the conversation we have as far as as a man, upping your standard this is the literal definition of what it means to have a higher standard for yourself and what happens when you don't have a higher standard for yourself what kind of situations you can end up putting yourself in just by you deciding to say you know what this is good enough for me i keep telling y'all you don't have any type of standards and you're willing to give women chances who have two th one two three four kids all because it's going to be a consistent place for you to stick your meat there's too many men out here who will sit here and settle for a woman because it's a consistent spot. They're going to be able to lay up in, run through as much as they want to. And that's good enough for them. That's as high as the bar goes 
So when men sign up for these situations, understand this is the potential situation you're signing up for. And understand that if you sign up for this, he's always going to be in the picture. He's always going to have an opportunity to come back in the picture, leave the picture. You don't know what it's going to look like day to day, month to month, year to year. And listen, if that's the type of stress and unnecessary conflict that as a man you want in your life, then yeah, go ahead, do that, live that life. See how it work out for you. I mean, listen, if I'm him, I'm walking away. I mean, I can never be him because I never ever put myself in that situation. Walk away, man, get out that situation. Is that all you see for yourself as a man that this is the best you could do? Is this the best situation you could find yourself in as a man to deal with a woman who got a kid but with a man who don't have no type of control over his emotions and to act like this in front of his child. Is that what you want to deal with as far as inviting into your relationship? Is that all you could see as a man as far as that's the best you could do? That's as good as it's gonna, ever going to get for you and what you're going to be able to find out here. Because even more than that, you should be looking at her like, hold up, I'm with you, but before me, this is the man you was with and you decide to have a kid with? You know he ain't just get like that overnight. We know that that man, the biological father, he been like that. He been showing them behaviors. He been acting out like that. That's the reason why he ain't with the baby mother no more, but not before he shot at the club and put a baby in her that she had. How could you not look at the situation and say, hold up? That's the man you decide to have a kid with. I got to Now I got to look at you a little differently as far as damn. <laughs> I got to really question your judgment. I got to really question who you are and your mentality. If this is the man you allow to give you a child, that should be enough to make you walk away just on having that type of mentality and thought process. Because really, what are you gaining from sticking around in this situation like that? Besides like what I already said having a consistent place to stick your meat. And you don't even know if the baby daddy still even got access to that. So the one thing that you thought you was gonna keep be able to have to get, so you can't even be 100% certain that that's even true. Cause he might still be hitting it too. Or down the line still get another chance too. Cause they tie together. And oh, he always gonna be there whenever he wanna jump in, jump out, he can always do it. Man, let me know what you guys think about this topic. Questions, comments, don't say feedback. Drop them down below. You know I appreciate when you guys chime in. Don't forget, support the channel. Hit the like and that subscribe button. And as always, until next time.